Guys, 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 guys. Today is a very special day, right? It's a very powerful, advantageous day, right? Do you know what day it is today? Technically, it is the 23rd of October. I don't know why I had to check my watch to confirm that because I already knew that it was the 23rd of October. This day today, not only it marks the 12th month that I've been on semen retention, celibate, no release, none whatsoever within the past year, but it also marks my first year on YouTube. Guys, we're gonna, I have a lot of things to talk about. I'm, I'm probably gonna tear up a little bit. I'm already a little emotional sh shooting this thing, but we gotta talk about what happened, right? We gotta talk about what transpired this entire year and how we started and how we got to this point, you know? Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of a, an emotional, evocative moment for us. And we're gonna get into it right now, right? How did it begin? How do we start so many of Piso's journey today on YouTube a year ago, right? We began with a belief, right? Semen retention, celibacy. Not only we began with this belief, we had it before we started the channel. We also didn't believe in family. We didn't believe in, in having some sort of seed on this planet because it's a waste of complete time, right? And resources and energy, especially in the state of this fallen world. The people in this, in this planet, they're a little generally angry and malicious and negative. You could say that I'm being negative by describing them as such, but I'm just sort of highlighting a fact, right? A, a fact of their personality. What has happened, right, is that during this, the beginning of the channel, right, during this duration of the channel, we have learned to talk a, a lot about this journey. We've learned to talk a lot about celibacy. We learned to talk a lot about the truth, the objective truth, we refined our, our message and we started to get a lot of people that listened to the message. I, could, I remember one of the first people that came about, Rich Wealthy. You were with me from near the beginning. If you guys don't know who he is, he was one of the, he's this guy from the Netherlands. Uh, maybe he's busy with life right now, but uh, you know, I haven't seen him in a really long time. I haven't heard him comment anything, but he was one of the first people that sort of caught on to the message of semen retention. Then it grew from there. Then it grew. Two months or three months after I started, we started to do live streams, which was a complete chaotic thing, right? A completely chaotic, nonsensical thing that I decided to start doing because the channel was generally about celibacy. It was generally about ascension. Somehow the channel has now divided into two sects. <laughs> Which is great, it was just insane. We have the individuals that listen to my, my rants, right? My, my chats about the an analysis of it all, right? The higher realms. We broke it down, uh, you know, the objective reality. We broke down religion. We broke down the different avatars from the various religions. We have the people that liked and listened to that. We broke down not only that, of course, like I began with in this, on this video, we began with the idea that you don't have to fit into this world how they tell you to fit into this world. There are a myriad bunch of social groups. We have, uh, you know, it's not just the generally, the scene kids and the jocks and the, uh, the sports kids and the yoga people and the people that go to the gym, no. Now a lot of these things have blended because the world has become a bit more modern due to the internet. Things have become more mixed, right? We have a lot of different groups that have a lot of different interests, but they all follow the same thread. They all follow the same line, which is just being a click and kicking out and removing anyone that's not on their vibration. When I got into the channel a couple months after I started, I started to break these groups down. There is no such thing as an individual who cannot live his or her own life by separating themselves from, that, from those groups, the aforementioned social groups. You can be whatever you wanna be. If you don't know Spanish, if you don't know Mandarin, if you don't know, say, Portuguese, you can still break into these cultures because you can align yourself with that vibration. And if they don't even accept you, you, are, you could still continue and learn what you need to learn to do what you need to do. That's the most powerful part of it. I broke this down. I'm the, I polarized the message for you all. We have the individuals that listen to that. And then we have 
on the live stream side, we started, we had a little bit of an apprehension exploring New York, right? It wasn't due to some lack of courage or some cowardice of any sort. It's due to, I understand the vibrations of, this, of these people. I know how they think. I know how they act. I've lived among them. I've been in this world for a long time. I have never truly found any sort of emotional solace in this place. Never by any of the denizens. I understand them completely, and I walk with that every single day. But of course, there's the other side of me, the other sombra, that is completely compassionate, benevolent, altruistic, accepting, open. And so I had the idea to do a live stream, and I did it, and now we have another part of the channel where there are just people that enjoy this place. They're just like just seeing the world through my eyes, through the camera and with my commentary. Sure, according to Sunshine and R2D2 Crystal, the moderators of the live stream that I usually uh, facilitate, um, they call me the Yaposaurus, right? It's like, who the hell can talk for eight hours straight on a live stream? What the heck? It's because, guys, I truly adore you. I, I don't think you guys really understand how much I feel about you guys. Before this, you know, before this, this YouTube thing, I'm gonna be completely honest, before this year that I started YouTube, like, I wasn't, I mean, I'm not gonna say I was some sort of recluse. I was still part of the world. I would go, everything that I show you guys in the live streams, I would just do on my own. I'd go to a bar, drink sparkling water, because, you know, I don't believe in alcohol. I would go around, um, celeb you know, concerts. I would go to spaces, you know, ask questions, get rejected, get ignored. I did all of this before, but before it, it wasn't, it had meaning. But with you guys, the guys that, that follow me on the live stream now, that, that has... It's crazy. The group has increased to insane numbers. I'm so appreciative every time I do the live stream with you guys because it's like, even though you guys aren't there, you guys are, are here with me, man. And it feels incredibly good. It feels secure. It feels great. That's the reason why I'm out here in the goddamn night. Look, it's, it's night outside. And I'm here yelling in front of a camera because I'm so excited about what, where the channel has gone in a year. It's insane. The like So let's just do a recapitulation, right, so far. The channel has now split into two groups. We have the serious, uh, esoteric, ascension stuff, religion, semen retention, celibacy. We talk about that, right? And then we also have the guys that, that like to just see New York and just like to see my travels, the live streamers. I'm so appreciative of you guys. In the year that we have done this, not only we started with a, a tepid, zero subscribers, right? I think when I started last year at the same date, we had like two or three subscribers. We are at 3,000 now. What the, what? <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. And it's not just like some sort of ghost subscribers, right? We have people that actively ask for my help daily via Instagram, via my videos. It is insane what has happened. It is actually crazy. I cannot believe how far, and this is not even uh, uh, some, you know, relative to all the very popular YouTubers. This is not even a very sufficient milestone. We're not even done with this. You think that this is not just some sort of, all right, guys, I did my year on YouTube. It's time to go. No, it's, we're not done. We're not finished. We have a lot more to do. My goal I didn't even think I was gonna pass 500, guys. Three or four months into the YouTube channel, I truly believed, I was like, no one wants to hear anything I have to say because in real life, when I talked about these things, I talked about esoteric stuff, I talked about ascension, I talked about celibacy, I talked about all of these things that you guys now ask, for, ask help for me from daily, right? I talked about these with the people of the world. They did not want to listen. No one heard, no one opened their ear. And now we got you guys asking questions. I did not believe for a second that I would have as many subscribers as I do now and people actively asking for my help. And let's, let's talk about uh, some more stuff. Let's go into the membership program. <laughs> I'm not maniacal. Trust me, when you have been on semen retention for a year, there is no telling where your mind is gonna go. There's no telling what kind of creativity you'll have. There's no telling what kind of flavor you have, you will now add to your rhetoric, right? Your lexicon, your vernacular. We have a membership program, the Shadow Collective. Right now, as of this moment, 10.02 p.m. 
uh, October 23rd, 2024, we have 41 members of the goddamn collective. I didn't believe for a second that not only if, that if I started a membership that anyone would join. And even now that I started a membership, we have this many members. This is insane. This is insane. This is actually crazy. With two new people that, that joined the fold yesterday. Luke Lynn, I'm talking to you. Ruben, I'm talking to you as well. I appreciate you guys so much. For the people that don't know about the Shadow Collective or the perks, you not only get access to emojis, you also get access to special interviews that I facilitate by going to the random people in New York and just asking them questions about life. Right to the ones that are sort of open. They claim they are open, but they really aren't really. Not a lot of, not the majority of them. New York is just honestly a city because it's a city with a whole plethora of identities and personalities and neuroses all coming together, not necessarily being diagno diagnosed for all those various aforementioned neuroses and disorders and things. You'll have some sort of chaotic solution, right? But still we do have some of the people that have offered their opinions and answers about things right to to be interviewed by me and they've been great that's part of the perks of being part of the shadow collective to view this material and understand it the shadow collective is only i can only see it growing from here i was, I was teeter-tottering we can only see it growing from here and i'm very excited that we have this right i'm i'm i don't know how to describe it i have this excitement man the most important, guys, you, you know who you guys are, man. Shadow Collective. We got DJ the Chef. We got into a little bit of an argument yesterday, but I still love you to death. Sunshine, you get on my nerves, but I love you as well. Steph, we love, you know, you're my darling. You're my baby. Steph, you're there. We got Pinar Pinar. We got, who else? We got um, Tobias, right? Tobias had a little bit of a, a, sh a shaky bit. Now he's back on right he got his job he's going forward tobias i love you to death crystal crystal dear crystal <laughs> you know how i feel about you right we have we have dale south africa stand up i don't know if brazil is still here but brazil right brazil we got jerry 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 i love you i love you all we have a goddamn uh, Flo the Great. We have YF, he's always here. Raja the King, man, always showing love. Dude, always showing love. I respect each and every one of you guys and I'm so grateful that you guys have decided to come on this journey with me, with this goddamn channel. You've changed everything. All of you guys have changed everything and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next year. We're gonna see what the hell happens. I do not care what needs to be done. Right, I'm going to try my best, right, to bring you some solid material. And I swear to God, I ain't going to give up on you guys. Thank you for joining the Shadow Collective. If you haven't joined the Shadow Collective, join it now. It's cheap to join. You have a family. You can talk to me whenever you want. I'll answer all of your questions, I promise. Let's see what else has grown in this goddamn time, right? So within the year, I've learned so much about having a YouTube channel, especially talking with you guys about this topic of semen retention and celibacy, which ultimately makes you a better man in this world of ge degeneracy, in this world that's a little fallen, a little majority of it is negative and run by groups of nefarious, shadowy, clandestine individuals that seek to perpetuate this type of lifestyle on everyone. And people that are not directly influenced by these groups, they are indirectly affected by them. And so they, they enact the same tactics and strategies that those secret societies do to them, to everyone else. I spoke out against it and I realized so much, right? I, what I've learned, I'm gonna tell you, is that if you're someone that preaches something, if you're someone that talks about a way, right? If you're someone that, that teaches a way, you must not only talk about the way, but you must be about the way. What am I looking like if I'm saying, listen, you gotta be celibate, you gotta be on semen retention, you'll access your, and you have to find some way to access the creative bits of your DNA in order to create objectively good policies for this fallen world. Imagine I'm, I'm saying these kind of things, which I do on the channel, and I'm not following it myself. I'm not in the gym, right, I got a belly, I'm eating horribly, right? And I, I'm not on semen retention. I'm not celibate. I'm having sex with any, anybody I see. 
then I would be a, what do you call it, right? A charlatan, a fraud. I realized that with this YouTube channel, the more the months have advanced, I realized that I have to live up to what I tell you guys in every single video. I have to bring the energy, I have to bring life, I have to bring teaching, I have to bring lessons embodied in my character, in my very being. What this channel has ultimately taught me is that I must now hold myself accountable. It's like having a huge family. It's like becoming the king of some sort of kingdom, right? Whereas the kingdom are the subscribers of the Summer Del Piso channel, and I am, I happen to be not the self-appointed king. Maybe I was voted in the office, right? But now I know I must hold myself accountable. If I am, I am not a king, right? To be served, I must serve. I don't want crap from you guys, only I need your two ears and I need a brain to process this information so you can ascend. This is the only thing that I've been worried about the more and more time passes that I've had this channel and the more and more I've stayed on this practice of SEMA retention. I have to do this. I have to do this. I learned also that people that would just join, you know, come in my midst, right? People that you that claim that they're my friends, people that claim that they were interested, the people that claim that they wanted to have a part of this. The more that I've advanced on this channel, as in I've accumulated subscribers, I have people that are actually interested in what I'm talking about. I have people that donate, right? Which is insane. Actually, a year ago I couldn't have even, I couldn't have processed that this would be a thing. A lot of people have left my midst. I lost many friends in the course of this year. This is an adventure. People just don't, the more you ascend in life, right? The more you grow, the more you evolve, right? People are just not going to like you. It's as simple as that. Why? We're going to give you some lessons in the goddamn year mark video, right? Listen up. The more you advance, you are rising to a higher frequency, assuming that you are maintaining the conditions in your body to transfer your mind into higher realms of thought. Because you are on a higher frequency, you cannot hide yourself. You cannot conceal it. Everyone will feel it. Even if you dress the same, even if you listen to goddamn, who, they, who, the, who do the young kids listen to now? Uh, I don't know, Blueberry Moses, I don't know. But whoever they listen to, you can listen to the same thing. If your energy and vibrations are on a different level, they're not gonna like you. And this is what I've learned in this, on this year. I was a little distraught about it, I was a little sad but it doesn't matter <laughs> because the channel has grown and that's the only thing that is important. And the fact that we have actually uh, maintained and fortified and cultivated a community, a community. It doesn't matter who, I, the only way at this point that I'll stop doing this is if I, you know, I go out like, um, Malcolm X, right? Or if I go out, like say Frederick Chopin, I get like caught with like some sort of tuberculosis and I just cough myself to death. That's the only way I'm stopping. There's no way other than that that I'm stopping this. I love you guys to death. There's no way. I, I, I adore all of you. Seriously, thank you so much for all of this support. If it weren't for you guys, I promise you I would not I probably would be continuing. <laughs> Maybe I would, but I don't know. It's just, I wouldn't have been continuing with this much emotion, this much passion, this much fervor, right? Excitement to do this. In this year, I've learned and have enveloped all of those emotions. What else happened? What else? I mean, other than the fact that we have the live streams going on, which have been very, very successful. We have the videos that are being, becoming, you know, better and better. We, I think we got, an, we got some stuff going on, but I'm not going to tell you. Which is nuts, because it wouldn't have been happening last year, right? If I wasn't continuing with this stuff. Ultimately, guys, I want to say this. I probably have said it earlier in the video. I wouldn't have sought to be a better person, honestly, if it, if it wasn't, if you guys, if you guys weren't here, man, I'm not going to lie, man. I'm, I'm crying now <laughs> because like, I wouldn't have met like these great characters like you guys, man. I wouldn't have met you guys if it really wasn't for this channel, man. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm going to be completely honest. So <laughs> dead serious, man. <laughs> Dead serious, like, I'm not saying my life is meaningless, it's really not. I mean, I'm in some, I work in an office, right? That's what's happened. I got a, a job with the city within the year that I started this channel because I've been on semen retention, I've been celibate for so long. It manifested into my space, or maybe I rose to it. And I'm not saying it's, it's monotonous or meaningless, but 
I'm telling you, man, every single day, right? I see you guys' responses to the goddamn videos. I see you guys talking about stuff. I see you guys asking questions. Man, I'm telling you, it just, I don't even see what's going on in that goddamn office space. I promise you, I'm so grateful. I can't express this enough. And we're not done. I said this, we're not done. We have so many things to do. We're not done. We traveled a lot. We like to travel. Remember, we learned Spanish. Yo puedo hablar español muy rápido y muy suavemente también porque ya aprendí la idioma cuando mi viaje sur del mundo, right? I learned this. I want to bring this stuff to you all. We have to travel with the channel. We have Portugal to go to. We have Spain. We got South America, Colombia, Paraguay, Chile, Uruguay right? Brazil! We have a lot of places to goddamn travel, and I am going to take you now with me. I want to show you everything, whether it be through videos, right? The videos that I release every day, whether it be through live streams, I'm going to show you guys all of it. I want you guys to come with me. It's going to be a little rocky, sort of, the journey. It's going to be a little low, right? The valleys, right? There are going to be summits, vertexes. You guys got to come with me with both of those, the highs and the lows. I want to show you guys what I see, what I've done through my travels. Come with me. Please, don't give up on the channel. Don't give up on me. <laughs> Y'all I got. <laughs> you know? I love you guys. I really do. I really do. I don't deserve people like you, man. I'm not... I'm not worthy, man. I mean, you gotta give me some time, right? We got more time. I will rise to the occasion. I will make myself worthy of you all. I will continue bringing knowledge. I will never, ever, ever shrink to this world and its, and its machinations and its ways. I will never covet the physical. I swear on my soul that that will never happen. I'll promise you this, we will be offered deals will be offered sponsorships and if it co if it doesn't correspond with the message of ascension and celibacy i swear it will be burned to the ground i will never ever succumb i will never shrink i will be the multi-dimensional so king solomon i will be the other the multi-dimensional uh king david i will be the multi-dimensional adam from the garden. I will make the choices that they were not powerful enough to make. I will not sacrifice the channel, the true message of the channel for these silly rewards. I swear I won't. I will be the person that you guys need me to be. Trust me. And with that being said, that is all I have to talk about today. October 23rd, the anniversary of the YouTube channel. If you guys enjoy that kind of content, like, comment, subscribe, share the video with some peers. Don't you ever let this place get you down. There are myriads of social groups that will try to indirectly advertise a lifestyle that is heading to shale, <laughs> to the fire. You can have fun with them. I assure you it's not going to be interesting or it's not going to be fulfilling or enlightening. That I could promise you. What I can also promise you is that if you listen to the black sheep, the rejected stone, insert cool name here, right? If you listen to me, I promise you, you will see things in a very, very powerful way and you'll make very, very powerful decisions. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to leave you with this message, guys. This is something that I've, uh, I've learned. It's in a, a sort of recapitulation, is a, co a complete summation of what I've learned so far on this YouTube journey, right? You want to break into an aspect, right? An aspect of existence, knowledge, intelligence, whether it be a language, a culture, and the culture rejects you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Don't you dare value yourself or, or put a number or quantify your self-worth based on how these people judge you because you'll never get anywhere. I want you, if you want to learn another language and the people that know that language don't want to teach you, you're going to still learn that language, right? If you want to go to a country and these people are not, you go to the country, these people are not accepting you, you still walk around in those goddamn streets right? Because you have a goal, you have a mission. You don't need to be accepted by the individuals in this reality in order for you to have a good time or for you to ascend. You don't need them. You don't need them. You never did. You have the hope. You have that creative spark that allows you to see beyond 
to see in the higher realms so you could actually ascend to those higher realms. These people are dead inside. They have no creativity. They, they survive. Their gasoline is a cult, right, of just being low on energy. If you want to do something in this world, whatever it may be, granted, you are following the objective law. You are not hurting anyone. You should do it. Do whatever you want. Be rejected. Be stumped. Be humiliated. Be rejected. Be, be disrespected. Be humiliated. I said this again because I want to emphasize it. But you will break into every single culture that you want because it's meant for you. You want to do it. And you have the energy to do it. These people have lost it. Do it, do it, and stay radiant always. Guys, I'm gonna see you in the next video.